Uh, Dr. Srinivasan, uh, you have now become a very acclaimed photographer of wildlife, having made many trips into the Serengeti. Uh, your photographs on uh, your website are really amazing. Can you tell us about your background in photography? Well, uh, literally I started shooting when I was 11 years old with a box camera. And uh, something which really started fascinating me. So when I was in the school, uh, I used to spend time uh, in a neighborhood a photo studio where my drawing master's uh, son used to take me there, sit in the dark room and see how the uh, negatives were processed and how the prints were made. And it, it was such a wonderful thing. So I, I started liking it. But photography is a very, very, very expensive uh, hobby. And uh, fortunately for me, I had even at an younger age, I started running s some businesses in terms of buying and selling vegetables, book binding and so many other things. So that gave me enough money to pursue my hobby, which continued into my uh, college days at Supra University and also when I and continued into my, uh, when I was doing my medicine. Uh, but during the house surgency, probably I started seeing big money in the form of 240 rupees a month and my temptation to buy good equipments and start having my own dark room and all those things came up. And I have to say at least two professors of mine, Professor, professor of Medicine, who were also photo fanatics, uh, Professor Sam G.P. Moses, with whom I did my MD, and in the same ward of Ward 3 on the other side was uh, Professor Dante Mother Nayagam. He had a huge collection of uh, Nikon uh, cameras. So I told myself, one day I will buy a Nikon camera and Nikon lens. So there are sort of things which are coming up, uh, pushing me hard and hard into photography, which I've been enjoying. But the other thing I really started uh, understanding is that as doctors who spend most of our time with sick people, we need some other avenue to sort of uh, sp spend our energy and sort of uh, find our happiness and I think a hobby is a must uh, and that gives you uh, 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 letting out your uh, all our anger or uh, frustrations. So that way photography did help me in the growing years. But having said that, uh, in 1985 when I started Lister Laboratory, from 85 to uh, almost 2006, 2005, 20 years, I had to put my camera in the back burner and I don't think I've even shot a single frame. Uh, because of uh, the professional commitment and that's probably the peak uh, period in your career. For almost 20 years, uh, I've forgotten my camera until in 2005 when I decided to one fine day step out of the laboratory and said, this is the time I need to do what I want to do in my life. My attention came back to the camera and I started picking up another camera and then started shooting. Uh, but one episode, two episodes pushed me further deeper into photography. One was um, uh, when I was sitting at home and recuperating following a misadventure uh, on my head by a neurosurgeon uh, who happened to operate me on the wrong side to tell me I have brains. And I was looking out of the window of my home and see a couple of kingfishers uh, and other birds which have been just sitting there. I totally forgot looking at my backyard. And the second is, so I picked up a camera and one of those days I went to a place called uh, Nalapattu, which is about 100 kilometers from here in Andhra. And one of the pe pe people who saw my photography moved into the digital age, said you have to become a member of the Photographic Society of Madras, which was established in 1867. So those days there used to be interviews and portfolios and all those things, so finally they accepted me. So in, from 2006, I got took life uh, pretty seriously into photography and started spending significant amount of time. And uh, that led on to me become, I would say, a semi-pro, winning a few national awards. And also to uh, somebody calling me and telling about a few months back that one of my photographs were picked up by the National Geography in the Daily Desert, which I had submitted in 2010 and forgotten about it. So. I've had one successful exhibition in 2012. The second one I'm planning before end of the year, almost all the prints are ready. And the 2012 exhibition helped me to raise over seven lakhs for the Jeevan's public card blood bank to help children with blood cancers and thalassemia. 
so the bottom line is the photography has become my primary focus and it also helped me on a lighter vein to establish a credibility in the sense that I used to be called an Aurangzi by my family because I never had interest in any art until one day I went back after booking for my uh, first exhibition at, na at a place which is none other than Lalit Kala Academy which gave me a receipt saying that Dr. P. Srinivasan artist and booked the hall for a week and then I went home and just jumping at the age of 55 saying that I become an artist I think it's an unforgettable moment I'm enjoying my um, wildlife into this is the eighth year I'm going to be in Serengeti in 2016 a place which I fall in love into and I, my sincere advice is each one definitely has a talent within you even though you are a doctor try to tap it, wake it up and pursue that habit find time to spend some time and improve on what you have that definitely will give you happiness in life good luck thank you sir Excellent. My entire medicine was funded by my own earnings. Oh yeah, wow. Buying and selling vegetables, fruits. Where you got the time and all? School. School, yeah. And while doing uh, MBBS, I've done well. I worked in the morning as paper boy. Oh, what was your father? He's a teacher. Okay. And uh, uh, both of us came to Chennai simultaneously. Because of me, he was booted out of his job. Oh. Because when I was in the college, uh, uh, he was working as he was a professor of psychology in uh, teacher's college in Tuttgore. 